Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I work as a cloud advocate at Microsoft. And today I'm going to show you how you can move data and objects from Amazon S3 buckets to Azure Blob Storage using AC Copy. So stay tuned. Okay, so here I wrote a quick blog post um, how to migrate Amazon S3 buckets to Azure Blob Storage. I will put the uh, URL to this blog post in the description below this video so you can easily uh, copy the commands from there. So to copy um, files or like um, folders, containers, um, or whole S3 buckets to Azure Blob Storage, we can use a tool called AC Copy. And there's also a link how you install AC Copy on your machine. Um, but the advantage of AC Copy really is that the, the copy process does not involve your local computer. So it directly copies from your S3 bucket to the Azure Blob Storage. Uh, so you get a perfect high speed connection between the two uh, cloud providers. So what we need to do first, um, we'll have a look first here, uh, what we're actually going to do. So this is the URL for my Amazon S3 bucket. And this is the URL of my Azure storage account, my blob storage um, there. And then you can use the AC copy command like this to copy source to destination um, to basically copy that those files. However, the first thing we need to do is obviously we need to have permissions to access the um, S3 bucket. And to do that, we are using the AWS access key and AWS secret access key uh, to log in um, with AC copy. And then on the, A on the Azure side, we can either use AC login um, to log in with, Azure, with our Azure Active Directory account, or we can use a SAS token. And in our example, I'm going to use a SAS token um, to do that. So first, let me quickly set, um, show you uh, the how you log in to the AWS side of things. So here we are with just the common prompt, and we have AC copy installed already. So if I do that, I, I get that information. Again, you need version 10 or higher to do that. Um, and here we go, and we can set the variables um, for the AWS side. So we have the AWS secret access key um, and the AWS access key ID, which are not set yet. So we need to set this. And if you go back to my blog post, um, you can see here how you do it on Windows and how you basically set it on Linux or Mac OS X. So uh, then I just set those. Uh, again, those are not my real access keys. Um, however, I just want to show you that example that this works. So if I now do a C copy uh, and we, you can see now that we have set the value for these access keys. Good. Now the next thing we need is the um, SAS token um, or the URL with the SAS token to do the copy process. So for that, I'm going into the Azure portal um, and going to my blob storage account here for first to show you that there are no files, no containers in there uh, right now. And then the next thing I'm going to go is to get the SAS token. So you can go here and that's where you basically generate one. Uh, you can say for how long do you want access to that specific uh, storage account and what permissions do you want to allow. So for me, I'm just going here with everything um, I need for the next couple of hours. I'm going to generate that. And now you get the different strings here. You get the connection string, you get the SAS, to the SAS token itself, and then you get the also the blob storage uh, service SAS URL, uh, which you then can directly use in our copy command. So I'm gonna copy this, and I quickly go here into our list. So instead of now copying to that, what I need to do is replace 
that URL with this and then I copy this and I go back to my comment prompt. Again, the AWS side is done uh, with the secret access key and now we just post that and you can see it found 33 files. It copied the, these files directly from AWS to the Azure Blob Storage account. You can see we get a good speed there. You can also see that everything was completed successful. And if we now go back um, to our storage account here, you can go to Blobs. If I do a refresh, you will see I have now my uh, S3 bucket here and then the specific files I put in that S3 bucket. So I hope this gives you a great overview about how you can copy um, S3 buckets uh, to Azure Blob Storage using AC Copy. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and follow my blog. Thank you.